Hey guys, Robbie here from CrossFit South Bend with a quick 90 second preview of our video discussing the new Nutrition Facts label that you're going to be seeing on the back of a lot of foods in, uh, in the future. So first, let's talk about the distinction between Nutrition Facts and the ingredient list. The Nutrition Facts is the thing that lists the calories, the protein, the carbs, the fat, the micronutrients, and the ingredient list is the thing that lists, uh, you know, beef or high fructose corn syrup, all the different ingredients that you might see on the back of a food. What's changing about the Nutrition Facts label in particular? They're adding uh, a description of added sugars. They are correcting the serving size to reflect what people actually eat. And they're doing a little bit to adjust how you see micronutrients. Are these good things? Yeah, overall they're a very teeny, teeny, teeny step in the right direction that's very long overdue if I'm being completely honest. but. That being said, will they help the average consumer a little bit? Yeah, they will. But I still think exactly what I thought a year ago when I filmed my very first Wellness Wednesday video on how to read an ingredient label, which is the ingredient label matters far more from a health perspective than the nutrition facts label, far more. And even further than that, the best foods of all, the healthiest foods are gonna be the ones that don't have an ingredient label at all. Things like beef, chicken, kale, lettuce, apple, so on and so forth. Things that existed long before nutrition facts and ingredient labels and that typically when you buy them don't have nutrition facts or ingredient labels at all. Alright guys, if you want all the details, check out the full video.